Maybe this record in general is a show that you can literally bust your ass off and not make a single good sound, which is why it's important to work smarter and not harder. I'm feeling a strong two to a light three on this record. If you're not into these Atlanta crooners that aren't really saying anything lyrically over these trap style instrumentals and are subsisting mostly on a diet of lean, then you're probably not gonna get that much out of this project. I, however, just thought some moments were really catchy. I thought a lot of the instrumentals were very sweet and I thought that it bordered on being an interesting listen from the standpoint of, whoa, this is a really druggy, just thick, hazy, intoxicating record. Beyond that, I don't really think Future has much of anything going on this record. record, record, record. I'm feeling a strong five to a light six on this LP. So what's kind of sad is that the, the potential in them collaborating wasn't really fully explored. We just kind of got some short, enjoyable tracks. I'm feeling a light to decent six on this thing. I guess with Future's music, it's best to just be doing something else more fun than sitting down and listening to Future's music. It's kind of like ambient hip hop in a way, you know, it's just supposed to hang in the background while you're doing something that you could be potentially arrested for. It won't distract you from your illegal activity. It's not too loud or interruptive to the point where anybody's gonna be calling anybody over like a noise ordinance or anything like that. You know, it's, it's, it's just hanging back there, setting the mood. I'm feeling a uh, strong five to a light six on this thing. It seems like there'd be no better opportunity to, you know, kind of get yourself out of your comfort zone. Um, with every new release he drops, he just folds his arms and he says, I'm gonna do the same thing I always do. I'm pretty indifferent toward this thing. Uh, I'm feeling a light to decent five on this. <laughs> I know these vocals might sound good in a world where habitually drinking cough syrup is a good idea, but over here in reality, that's what we call bad singing. And that bad singing is all over this album. It's not good. It's, it's mostly kind of listenable, but uh, I, I'm indifferent toward a lot of it, and I wouldn't return to this thing outside of a couple tracks. I'm feeling a light to decent five on this thing. It's not nearly as sharp as like a without warning, or especially a Kid See Ghost. Doesn't really feel all that collaborative a lot of the time. While there are some good standouts here where Future and Juice World do find uh, some cool creative overlap. For the most part, just kind of seems like both guys riffing on some very dime a dozen trap beats with a supremely good flow, hook or instrumental popping out here and there. I'm feeling a decent two strong five on this thing. Give some good vocal performances, emotional and aggressive. And I'm actually monstrously happy about that. I'm happy to hear a future project that I can enjoy more than just a couple of tracks at a time and that's it. While sure still he's not the most versatile artist under the sun and I do think the album does have some serious lyrical shortcomings, the start of it is pretty weak. The ending of it is kind of weak as well, but that is not stopping me from feeling a light to decent seven on this thing. After The Wizard, I just don't get this sudden drop in quality here. Future's debut album isn't even 10 years old at this point. There's no reason that he shouldn't still be experimenting, evolving, and putting out his best stuff, but instead he's just running off of the fumes of copying and pasting a bunch of ideas that he helped popularize years ago. Feeling a decent two strong three, on this one. It's still kind of a mixed bag and sees future of, uh, I, I think, lazily sauntering through some tracks. Also hitting us with some bad and ridiculous and uh, sometimes tasteless ideas on others. But that's something for me, uh, I sort of expect at this point and I know is going to be a turnoff for me going into projects like this. But if that's not the case for you, uh, that's not gonna be a barrier to enjoyment for you on this project for sure. But uh, again, personally, I'm feeling a, a strong five to a light six. Um, on this one.